Hey everyone, as promised, here is a tutorial on high pass skin softening. So this is a technique that uses the high pass filter uh, to do some skin softening. So um, I've got some uh, retouching layers here that I've already done uh, to kind of just remove blemishes and do some other, a few other little things. Um, so now I'm ready to get to the skin softening uh, part of my retouching and let's get to that. So the first thing I want to do is create a new layer that's a composite of all these layers. So um, a nice fresh uh, layer that's got everything I've done uh, included in it. So to do that, I can hit uh, controller command, shift, alt, and E as an elephant. And that creates a new layer. And I can rename this layer skin softening just by double clicking on it there. And uh, the first thing that I want to do is change the blend mode of this new layer by clicking up here and going down to overlay. And you'll see that funky look there, but we'll get rid of that in a minute, so no worries. And the next thing that I want to do is come up to the filter menu and drop down to other and select high pass. Uh, for this value, we'll enter 10 pixels, regardless of what you're doing. Just go ahead and enter 10 pixels. It should look just great. Um, and we've got this high pass sharpening effect now. So what we're going to do is turn this into a softening effect. And we're going to do that by just hitting control I, which will invert this layer. So hit control I and you'll see in that we have this nice blur now. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is uh, limit this blur effect. Um, it's a little bit much right now, even for the skin. So we're going to uh, bring some of that texture back in by going up to filter blur and Gaussian blur. And for this, we're going to want to enter a number somewhere between one and four. Um, so if you go, if you're down near the number one, you're going to have much um, less of a limiting effect. Let's zoom in here so we can see what's going on a little bit better. So if we are down here close to the close to one, we've got a fairly blurry, um, you know, a nice softening effect. But if we get closer to four, um, it limits the effect even more. And if we go beyond that, we pretty much aren't seeing anything um, much of what we did left. Um, so somewhere between one and four is probably going to be your ticket. You may want to go a little bit beyond that if someone's just got really great skin or something. But uh, anyway, pick a number that works for you. We'll go with one so that we can kind of um, uh, keep this uh, more of an extreme look and we can always reduce that later on uh, by uh, reducing the opacity of our skin softening layer. So uh, uh, I usually err on the side of a little bit of overkill that way I've got some leeway to bring it down later and I can always um, go with that more of an extreme retouch look if I want to just by adjusting the opacity. So we'll click OK there and then we'll check out what we've got here with before and after. So we we'll turn that layer off and then back on. So this is before we added this new layer. And this is what we've done with our skin softening. So the skin looks great like that, but the rest of the image, um, you know, we don't want to have blurry hair and blurry eyes. So we're going to uh, need to apply this effect just to the areas of skin that we want it on. So to do that, I'm going to add a layer mask and mask out uh, the areas that I don't want. So to, I'm just going to start by masking out everything and then I'm going to paint back in um, the the layers or, or the layer mask where I want it to be exposed. I'll, I'll paint that area. So um, let's create the, the layer mask by holding down the Alt key and selecting the create a layer mask icon right here. It looks like a little record button or a little camera or something. Uh, so we'll click that. And you'll see that that effect just disappeared because we've got this new layer mask here that's all black and it's blacking out that, uh, that layer. So to paint in that effect, all we need to do is use a white paintbrush and paint in the area that we want. So we'll select the paintbrush, make sure that white is our color that's selected here. If it's not, you can just push the D button on your keyboard and it will uh, select the default colors which are white and black. And make sure your brush is selected again. And um, you can go up to here to your brush options and just make sure you've selected a nice soft brush or bring the hardness over towards uh, zero um, and you'll be good. You don't want to use a hard brush because then the lines, the, the line between where you've applied the effect and where it isn't applied will be too clear and you'll notice where that blend is happening. 
Um, so now that we've got that selected, I'm going to select, I'm going to uh, push rather the backslash key, which is on your keyboard just above the enter key, which will make a red, uh, a red mask that over your image that you can then see much more easily what you're painting over. Uh, so that's nice. My color somehow got switched here, so I'm going to hit X and that will switch my uh, foreground and background colors here. So I've got black selected, so when I tried to paint just now I wasn't able to. So I'll hit X and that will switch over to white and then I can paint. You also want to make sure your brush is at 100% opacity, so I'll go ahead and do that. Now, what I often do is just go ahead and paint over the eyes and all of that uh, to start with and just try and, and get all the skin that I want softened, brushed over. And then what I'm going to do is just switch my brush color back to black and then mask out the areas that I want to uh, retain detail like the lips and the eyes and the nose and things like that. And I find this is just faster than trying to go around uh, those features. So I've done that. I'm going to hit X and switch my color back and go back around these edges where I need to maintain detail, places like the eyebrows and the eyes, of course. Okay, nostrils are important. Don't forget the nostrils and the edge of the nose too. Nothing like a uh, nose blending into the, your face to give away a, a retouch. And you've probably seen photos where you've thought, oh, I can't, I don't know why, but I can tell that this photo has been retouched. And it was probably something like the edge of the nose being blurred a little bit. And you probably, well, you, you maybe you did, but you may have not put your finger on exactly why it looked funny, but it just looked a little bit off. Um, and something like that's probably the reason. All right, so I've got those areas where I want detail painted masked out. Make sure you get all the edges around the skin where the skin's... up against other areas of the image. There we go. All right. And now that we've got that, we can hit our before and after key and see that effect. Um, so I think that's a little bit much. It's getting rid of a little bit too much of the skin texture for me. So what I can do is come up to the opacity slider and then just reduce that to my liking. Um, and then that's about where I like it. So you'll see that's just a really nice skin softening effect that doesn't look too drastic so that it's unbelievable, but uh, looks good. So give that a shot on your own image and uh, let me know how it turns out. And feel free to leave a comment uh, if you have any questions or anything like that. Thanks a lot. See you next time.